What's up, guys? Good afternoon. Uh, there was a lot of positives to take away. Uh, we moved the football. We scored points. Um, obviously, you have to protect the ball and play smart football because that's what wins. Um, and you go from there. You take one week at a time. You watch the film. You learn from it. Uh, learn that we still have a really good football team and uh, just time to put it together. How do you protect the ball and play free, so to speak, and confident, you know? Yeah, no doubt. There's definitely a balance of uh, being aggressive but also being situationally aware. And um, you're always trying to find that balance. Um, every play is its own. One play does not affect the next. So you always keep that in mind and just execute the play that's called. Nick, what did you see on the film on those sneaks and overtime? Did you, was, how did that sort of play out if you look at it again? Yeah, um, I would have liked to use a different cadence. Um, and then just I just have to push harder and further and get the first down. Um, hate the game and like what a what a way to like not succeed. Um, but that's the game that we play. Um, so it's past us now. Um, got an extra day to prepare this week, going over third downs already. Um, so we're excited for this week for sure as well. Is that the first time you ever did that in a, in a live game? The, the, the shove style sneak. Yes, it is. Um, but to me, whether there's a shove or there's not a shove, not too much different. Uh, you just got to stay low, push forward, and um, yeah. On the, on the cadence, are you saying a different one in, from the first play to the second play, or just a different one altogether? Or? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we have so many different cadences, and uh, the ability to mix up cadence and use it as a tool um, throughout the entire game um, is definitely a way to create an advantage. Um, so I think we'll continue to use cadence to uh, create an advantage uh, for our offense. Zach, how much do you guys have to do that in terms of switching it up on the fly, or is that something that gets kind of cleared with coaches ahead of time? No, we have freedom. And um, it's the quarterback's job to create an advantage for the offense to use, use cadence. I see like you in Philadelphia the other night, you know, everybody assumes that they're going to run that with Jalen Hurts to have everyone, and they didn't the other day. Are, are teams picking up a little bit on this, the, the push, the quarterback sneak push? I think every play is its own. Um, obviously, it's a trendy play this year um, that creates a lot of talk and buzz. Um, but we're just focused on just whatever the situation is, whatever the play is called, got to execute it. And that's all that really matters. Uh, Wes talked yesterday about Ty kind of seeing you go through the plan on a Friday and then following kind of your footsteps doing that. Just what have you seen from him and his development? He's awesome. I love Ty. Uh, even like that first Seahawks game uh, when he got a lot of action, um, you can, he's got juice. And um, it's what you want from a running back. He's got juice. Um, he loves football. He works really hard at it. And uh, to see him take advantage of his opportunities are awesome. Um, and I'm really not surprised that he's uh, playing well. What were your son's takeaways from seeing you play? <laughs> um, they were excited. They had a great day. Um, and they were sad that we lost, just like the rest of us. What do you see in the Lions defense? Yeah, they're a good group. Um, they're aggressive. They're active. Um, Going to get multiple looks, um, different coverages. And um, there's multiple ways they could play us. So just got to see how they're playing us and uh, take one play at a time. How much communication have you had with, with Kurt just in, in the, the, week, the lead up to this week, last week? Like, How involved has he been? Uh, yeah, I'd say a pretty good amount. Um, we have a great relationship. Thankful for um, all that Kirk has been for this team and for me since I've been here. Um, and yeah, we talk a good bit, talk about situations that play out through the game, um, talk about what plays look good on third down this week. Um, so all sorts of stuff. Uh, he loves football. He loves talking football. He loves strategy. Um, and so he's been a great resource. Nick, how do you balance just like the mindset of being willing to let it rip and trying to monitor and make sure you don't turn the ball over? Yeah, I think it's just uh, one play at a time. Just got to focus, got to execute, um, know what your job is, and do it to the best of your ability. And I feel like I did a good job of that uh, versus Cincinnati, but obviously just got to eliminate the mistakes and uh, be a really good quarterback and collectively be a really good unit, just stay efficient and protect the ball. Fair to say like, those turnovers won't deter you from taking chances this week? I wouldn't necessarily say take chances compared to just do it, do what you're coached. You know, stick to what you're coached, stick to the fundamentals, uh, stick to quick decision making, decision making and accurate throws. Um, that what's 
that's what makes a great quarterback, and uh, that's what I'm going to stick to. So you've been in this office for two years, but so now that you've had like a full week of the first team reps and the game plan you know, around you, like is is that taking sort of your comfort or mastery of the offense to maybe even higher higher level? Yeah, I would say so. Every week is a new week. Um, same routine. I, I love my routine that I had when I was the backup, and it hasn't really changed much um, since I've become the starter. Uh, but definitely, the more you're behind center, the more you're uh, making checks, seeing looks. Um, as a backup, you try to just imagine that as best you can. Um, so now to be able to see that, do it more, process it more, uh, it's definitely helped, and uh, we're excited for the week. Nick, just what's the overall mindset with, with you know three games to go? You're fighting for a playoff spot. You got a team coming in that if they win, they clinch their first division title in three decades. What's that mindset? It's all about beating the Lions. Um, playoffs are awesome, but if you don't win, then the playoffs don't matter. Um, so you got to beat the Lions. Um, and I think the guys are excited about that. Um, obviously, we got the whiteout at home, uh, so there's a lot to be excited about. Um, we have a great defense. Um, move the ball on offense. Uh, we know we can do it. Now it's just putting it all together um, against an awesome uh, home crowd in the whiteout game. We know that Jefferson came back, but explain to Addison how he does what he does at that size. What, what have been your impressions you know, playing with him in real action for the first time? Yeah, um, I think I think it's important to realize that like people might say that he's small, but he plays bigger than he is. Um, people might say dog mentality, but if you watch him block in the run game or separate versus man um, or get 10 plus yards after the catch, uh, he's got more than whatever you think he has. And uh, I think that's been a really cool attribute to see. Um, he's been nothing but consistent since he's been here. And uh, he's a great player. Nick, on the, uh, the interception where you're going, mm -hmm. you're being taken down. You're trying to just kind of throw it away there. As you look back at that, what do you, what do you learn from that? I mean, every NFL play is, 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 is different. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you're in that situation again, do you remember that? Or what did you learn from it? Uh, take the sack and kick the field goal. Um, as a quarterback, you do train to not take sacks, especially in two minute. Um, but there, you definitely have to um, flip the mindset. You already have points, so take the points and uh, just be a smart player. Is it easy to, to do that? Like, is your brain wired one way and then you have to, like, or are you able to kind of take that and kind of use it? Yeah, I think it's, uh, is it easy? Um, no, nothing about playing quarterback in the NFL is easy. Uh, but that's why we do it and that's why we love it. Um, but at the same time, just process, uh, decision making, all that stuff. Um, you got to be able to do it, and um, that's going to be successful when we do. What is it about the Friday evening sessions that's so valuable to you? I think just simulating, simulating the looks, simulating the plays. Uh, you get so much information during the week. Uh, you got to process it, and then just Friday is the time to sit back, relax, go through all the plays and uh, feel what it's going to feel like. And uh, that's been very useful for, for my uh, routine. The play calls in the huddle at an acceptable volume for the linemen this last game? Say what? The play calls in the huddle at an acceptable volume for the linemen. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, uh, definitely. Yes, uh, the loud voice was needed for sure, yeah. <laughs> thanks, everybody. All right, thanks, guys. Yep.